Hello, my name is Scott Ellison, and I'm the lead pastor of Morning Star Church here in Rockford, Illinois. We're a church that exists to be spiritually growing followers of Jesus who lead others into a growing relationship with Jesus Christ. Um, I'm making this video today because we, like many of you, are under a stay-at-home executive order from our governor uh, during this COVID-19 pandemic that has hit the world. What that means for us as God's people is we will not be able to gather as a church on Easter Sunday, which is a highlight of our church year, a Sunday that we set aside to rejoice and to remember uh, that Jesus Christ, our Savior, rose from the grave. And his resurrection is proof to us of who he is and the fact that his sacrifice on the cross for our sins was accepted by God the Father. And so we rejoice in the resurrection. And though the church cannot gather this Easter, Jesus is very much alive. And so we want to take a moment to share with you how Jesus is alive in our lives. We know Jesus is alive because we've seen the way he's changed our thinking about how we live and what we value. Trusting in God's promises has brought great joy into our lives and new life into our marriage and the hope of eternal life with Christ. The resurrection of Christ uh, really showed me what it was like to live for more than just myself. Um, it's really pulled me out of uh, a life of addiction, uh, drugs, cigarettes, alcohol, um, out of poverty. Um, I was uh, flat broke. I knew what it, I, I found out what it was like to actually work hard. Um, it's really changed me. It's done, it's done a lot for me. And it's something that I have been able to cling to in the midst of illness, grief, anxiety, and depression. And it's something that gives me hope every single day. Jesus defeated sin. He saved us from sin, evil, and darkness. The life, death, and resurrection of Jesus changes everything for us. We were dead in our sins and have been made alive together with Christ. This gives us the ability to love God and love others. This affects our marriage, our parenting, how we steward our possessions, and how we relate to others. This doesn't mean we always get it right, but through the work of Christ, we have forgiveness, grace, and hope. This is the joy of the gospel. The resurrection of Jesus has changed my perspective on what it means to be successful. Jesus' resurrection gives me hope and joy in the, in the fact that my worth is not determined by what I achieve in this life, but rather what Christ achieved for me when he died and rose again. I used to think that success was measured by status and career achievements, um, but now I have an eternal hope that has been secured and that success is defined by my being found in Jesus, who lives and pleads for me. This hope is untouchable because Christ has achieved all that really matters through his death and his resurrection. Resurrection has freed me from sin and death and empowers me to live for Christ each and every day. The resurrection of Jesus Christ takes a huge role in the gospel. With no resurrection, there's no forgiveness of sin. The Bible says in Romans 4.25 that he was delivered for our trespasses and raised for our justification. Through this perfect work, we can stand righteous before a holy God. There was a time in my life when I was controlled by the fear of man and by pride and by greed. And the Lord Jesus Christ broke the power of those sins. He changed my affections. He transformed my heart. He gave me a strength to live for him and for others that I did not have previously. Jesus saved me. And Jesus is alive and he's alive in me. I believe that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And no man comes to the Father except through him. 45 years ago, a customer witnessed to me his salvation, and then my wife and I went on a journey uh, to find a true meaning and purpose in life, and were baptized about 40 years ago, and then we continued to grow in the faith with our children, and being at Morningstar now has been a true blessing to me with the ministry and all the people there. The Lord blessed our family this past year by We got baptized. And God has sustained us in this new chapter of parenthood. Communication can be hard with a newborn and with exhausted partners. And relying on God's grace and power has allowed us to remember that God is in control and refining us for His glory. It's His goodness that sustains us in the long nights and sometimes longer days. What a great gift being parents is. Uh, we really get to look at the parent-child relationship that God has with his own children. This Easter, God has been encouraging my family by singing the gospel after dinner. 
Every night we read a psalm and then sing a song from our hymnal. It has been a sweet reminder of the gospel and it has been sweet to see how it has been affecting our two-year-old son, Roman. He loves to hear music and is even learning to sing his favorite songs in his own little way. Jesus is Lord even over his little nonverbal mouth. Jane and I came to what is now known as Morning Star Church because the Lord was driving us to grow spiritually. He directed us to a gospel-centered church with good expositional preaching so that we could grow closer to Him. And I'd like to share a verse that has been strong for both of us in our faith walk. Now to Him who is able to do far more abundantly than all that we could ask or think, according to the power of, at work within us, to Him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations, forever and ever. I'm so thankful uh, that Jesus is alive. Uh, Leah and I, in the last uh, two years, have lost three grandparents. Um, and that's just the stage of life that we're in. Um, and we are so thankful um, that we know that we will see them again and that they are um, enjoying um, life everlasting with their savior and with loved ones that have gone before them. And we're thankful that one day we will see them again. I experienced God's grace and mercy in my life as a young boy. And as I've grown into adulthood, this time of celebrating the resurrection, that Christ died on a cross, that Christ rose from the grave, that Christ is coming back, make me want to serve God with my heart and my soul and my mind and all my strength. And these truths fill my heart with joy. Thank you, Jesus, for your love for us, and thank you for your grace. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Because he arose, he's right now interceding on our behalf before the throne of God. The very power that resurrected Christ from the grave is the power that's at work in our lives today, transforming us into the image of Christ. And because he arose, one day we too will arise. The things that we think of when we think of the hope of the resurrection, uh, that confidence is, is a couple of things. One is the consistency of it. It never changes. Uh, he has risen from the dead and it, uh, it allows us to not be tossed to and fro by things that are happening in the world uh, through work and at home and, and outside of that. And then also a true peace in our home that, uh, that rests in that same consistency. Jesus' resurrection means for me that I am no longer a slave to fear, to sin, or to death itself. My older brother walked through the valley of the shadow of death on my behalf, and he rose victorious. And so I know now that he will never leave me, he will never forsake me, and I live with great hope because of those things. It's all because of Calvary, and because of Christ's resurrection, when it's my turn to go, I'm going to heaven too. The resurrection means for me that I am free from my sins and I get to spend eternity with Jesus. I was blind, but now I see. As we go through this trial of life, one verse from the Gospel of John is really sticking out for me lately, where Jesus said, In me you may have peace. Thanks God that by His grace we still have this wonderful divine resource, our Bibles, to connect ourselves to a risen Savior. There is no any social distances that can separate us from the presence of God. And we know that the true peace, rest, and quiet of the soul only can be found in the presence of the grace of our Savior. The resurrection of Jesus gives me a reason to find true light and hope in a dark world, and the grace God shows us in both extraordinary and ordinary ways. Isaiah 9-2 says, The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who dwell in a land of deep darkness, on them a light has shown. Such a blessing on Resurrection Sunday uh, to think of the Lord's own words in Luke after he had uh, risen from the dead and he spoke to his disciples and said that it had been written that the Christ should suffer and that he should die and that three days later he would raise again from the dead. Uh, that repentance and forgiveness of sins should be preached to all nations. I'm so grateful that it was preached to me and that the Lord uh, continues to uh, renew my mind from day to day. Uh, it's such a blessing to serve a risen Savior. By the cross, he has by risen. The blood, 
He has risen indeed. He is risen. He is risen indeed. The Lord reigns. Jesus is alive. Happy Easter. Christos was Jesus is risen. He is risen indeed. That I'm delivered from my sin.